We thought we died and gone to heaven <laughs> when we walked in here today. Where did the idea come from? The idea actually came from seeing a few events in the southern U.S that were very beer, bourbon, and barbecue focused, traditional American barbecue. So we thought, remove the spirits, just focus on craft beer, and then instead of only barbecue, allow chefs to have the freedom to cook whatever they wanted, provided they were sourced locally or regionally. This will be our sixth year in total, and we love it here, it's fantastic. Is the standard here a little bit higher when you get around the Alberta beef and all the other produce that's here, or does the guys on the island give us more, more, more of a challenge? Every city definitely has their own specific way of doing things. The food here is absolutely spectacular. We have the giant pig hanging from the scaffolding, cooking in front of a wall of fire. The bar gets raised in Calgary, hands down. Today we're doing a Brant Lake Wagyu skirt skate with uh, piri piri butter and then a little bit of a fresh coleslaw with local cabbage. Porchetta on house sourdough with tallow aioli and a grilled peach chutney and a fresh herb salad on top. We're serving uh, grilled copa with fresh corn pudding and a macadamia nut chimichurri. Tandoori lamb is the last thing you'll expect at a barbecue in the middle of summer in Calgary. We are serving a braised uh, short rib and brisket with a beautiful horseradish gremolata. Good. Are you going to hold out on me or do I get a, do oh I gosh, get a taste? You just do it up. What we're making is an apple sausage stuffed pork belly with a crab apple gastrique. Literally last year after we roasted the whole bison, the next day I was just thinking about what I would do today. Yesterday's my Christmas Eve, today's my Christmas day. We thought we'd try to be a little different and bring our signature dish, this jerk chicken. We think it's the best in the city. And uh, judging by the size of the line, I think a few people agree with us. See that? That's perfect pork belly. Just Wait. remember, there's yeah. no sharing in pork belly. Sorry, cameraman. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. We're saying you're the last, but you're also the best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grilled bannock with El Carnitas, shaved iceberg lettuce, some pico garlic scape, uh, pico de gallo, and then queso fresco. So it's got a bit of a take on an Indian taco. Anybody who told you this is just a barbecue festival, you guys brought your top-notch game to this thing? That's Why do you do that? It sounds like a lot of hard work to me. It is. I'm overthinking it. <laughs> what do you think of Brewery and B so far? Love it. My third time. Hey, you're going two at a time? You bet you double fisting it. You yeah. got to wash all this meat down somehow. So You're such a big fellow. Why is your little, little, uh, little piece of bread? Oh, so you can have more than just one. You got to stuff it in, wash it down, stuff it in, wash it down. I've already had like 20 things, so I got to relax and uh, hang out for a bit. Yeah, Go good. get the other side of things going on. Chill. Yeah, that's it. Hanging out for sure. You guys see the lineups are so long here. What are you, what are you waiting for? Jerk chicken. And I think there's a frozen drink of uh, some sort. Are you here for the drink or the chicken? Uh, both. There's a few things that makes a food festival work. Yeah. Number one is there needs to be food. There needs to be so much food you haven't seen in your life yet. Otherwise, it's not a festival. Yeah. And then good entertainment, awesome people. And I like the fact that it's a little bit exclusive, that you don't have to be crowded and you're getting the best bits. The best part of all of this is if you just see what people are doing is they don't have to stand in line for hours and hours to get a piece of food. Yeah. And the quality is out of this world.